And we're starting off this Saturday morning with cool temperatures out there. Maybe just perfect conditions to head out to some of the area lakes and enjoy the outdoors not only today, but also tomorrow with the great weather. Let's take a look at some of the current lake levels across eastern Oklahoma, and we're seeing some good conditions out there. Grand as well as Uliga, also Skytook, and you follow all reporting normal conditions slightly above Keystone, also Hudson, Fort Gibson, and Ten Killers. So pretty good looking conditions out at the area lakes. And the weather looks like it's going to cooperate this weekend as well. We're going to see a lot of sunshine around, some high clouds moving on across, and that's what we're seeing right now. This is a live look from Union High School. We're looking off to the west. You know, it's just a little bit of high cloudiness here and there, and we'll see that as we move on through the day today, but still mostly sunny skies expected here in eastern Oklahoma. Midtown Cam, we're looking off to the north and west towards downtown. You notice we're seeing quite a bit of blue skies out there, but it is a cool start. Very pleasant. 53 degrees winds out of the north northwest right now at 6 miles per hour, so you may need a light jacket if you're out here for the next hour or two as those temperatures slowly rise into the 60s here over the next couple of hours. Storm Shield radar not tracking any rainfall out there this morning. It is all quiet here. Closest rain I could find out in western areas of Texas from just south of Amarillo down to Lubbock. We are seeing some scattered showers pushing off to the south and it looks like that rain is going to stay well to the west of us for today. But if you have any travel plans out into the Texas panhandle, you may have a few showers you may have to deal with here through the morning and early afternoon hours. Temperatures for the most part in the low to mid 50s here in the Tulsa metro from 54 in Sky took to 54 in Owasso. 53 officially Tulsa and Catoosa, 55 in Broken Arrow, 55 as well in Bixby and in Sepulpen. Across all of eastern Oklahoma now, we've warmed into the lower 50s, setting at 50 degrees in Bartlesville and Venita, 54 in Pryor. Still as cool as 48 degrees over in Fayetteville, and you notice 55 this morning in Stigler and 55 degrees in Shawnee. Temperatures right now compared to this time yesterday morning running some 10 to 15 degrees cooler so you can tell a big change from what we saw on our Friday morning 14 degrees cooler here in Tulsa and Bartlesville 11 degrees cooler over in Bentonville also down in the Stigler and McAllister areas so a nice cool start across most areas you notice eastern Oklahoma into western Arkansas that's where we're seeing some of the coolest readings temperatures in the lower 50s and those upper 40s over around Fayetteville but out to the west temperatures upper 50s and lower 60s as we're seeing those winds starting to shift back around to the south out in the panhandles and it looks like those winds will shift out of the south into our area later on tonight. You notice right now we are seeing just a light breeze out of the north and northwest here in eastern Oklahoma, but winds easterly out in western sections of the state, and then we're starting to see those southerly winds developing further to the west, and the south winds will build into our area for tomorrow, and then we're going to see several days with breezy southerly winds as we move into the early and middle parts of next week. Well, we are seeing some of that high cloudiness moving in from the north and west, and we're seeing that out there right now, and that will continue for a time this morning. Future track shows you that cloudiness as it continues to work its way to the south and to the east. Again, high cloudiness, so at times we could see some filtered sun shine in a few areas, but for the most part, mostly sunny skies. Then we'll see partly cloudy skies around the area for tonight. Here's a look at your high temperatures today. Low to mid 70s from southeast Kansas into northeast Oklahoma. As cool as 71 in Coffeyville and Miami. Temperatures a little warmer as you head back to the west. Pahuska and Pawnee 75 this afternoon. We'll see a northeast wind around 10. Same story from Tulsa down to the south. Temperatures low to mid 70s around 71 in Stillwell, 74 in Muskogee, 75 this afternoon in Okmulgee, 76 Bristow and Okima. Southeast Oklahoma generally in the mid 70s and we'll see a northeast wind as well up to around 10 miles per hour. Just a nice afternoon with low humidity levels. Very pleasant if you have any outdoor plans. What do we expect over the next several days? We expect a big warm up on the way as we get back to work over the next couple days. So enjoy the 75 today. We'll drop back to 55 tonight. So another pleasant night tonight. 79 tomorrow. Still looking good on our Sunday. But you know so south winds now 10 to 15 miles per hour. And that's going to start to warm those temperatures. Monday a big jump with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. 86 expected. Look at those south winds. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even into Thursday. Very, very breezy. So after this quick break with some cooler temperatures. We're going to start to warm things back up into the upper 80s by Tuesday. Wednesday hit 90 degrees on Thursday. That's in advance of another cold front that's going to try to work its way into the area late in the day on Friday in advance of just a slight chance of a shower storm Thursday night into Friday. High still upper 80s next Friday. So Max, what we're talking about is a nice taste of fall weather here over the weekend and then it gets back kind of that late summer feel by next week with those highs back in the 80s to near 90. And with about two weeks left in summer or less, it's just reminding us that it's still here. It's still here, yeah. It's going to hang on for a little while longer, but we know that we're starting to transition finally into fall here over the next few weeks. Looking forward to that. Yes. Taft